In economic analysis, at times we are required to integrate functions that appear with an exponential function. So how we can integrate those functions is something we are going to learn in this video. So we have to learn that rule which is known as the exponential function rule and it states that if we are to integrate such a function that is the integrand which is exponential in nature, it will be integrated in such a way that we can note that function on the left hand side with the integral sign and the function as it is will appear in the numerator and we take the derivative of the exponent we write it in the denominator and we take the natural log of the base of the exponential function which is a so we have taken the natural log and we multiply it with the derivative of the exponent that we have already placed in the denominator and then we add the c that is the arbitrary constant of integration. So let's do this in a numerical way. Numerical example requires us to write this uh, exponential function once and here we write it in the numerator as guided by the formula and the exponent is 3x the derivative of which we have written in the denominator and 2 is the base the natural log of which we will write in the denominator in the form of a product alongside with the derivative of the exponent. We can write c here but at the end we have written it and then uh, the numerator will remain the same and the derivative of the exponent gets solved as well as the natural log of the base and then further we can uh, introduce the arbitrary constant which was not there before and now we have written it like this as well because this is one of the ways to write it that we can retain the natural log instead of solving it here we have solved it whereas here we have not solved the natural log so these are the two ways of writing the same thing uh, now it is something that is solved and we can see the pre and post graphs of the integrand this is the uh, function that we integrated and this was the result of it c is considered equal to zero just to keep things simple otherwise it can have any other constant value so when we plot the graph it will look something like this so you see that in the um, foundation this is x and y is the dependent variable this blue colored line is showing the original function and this green color line is showing the integrated function and both of them have the exponential part whereas the uh, after integration or post integration result contains this natural log and 2 of 2 and 3 in the foundation that is the denominator but still uh, it is uh, an exponential function by its very nature so both of them are showing an exponential graph and the exponential pattern is exponential growth the fact is that the exponent is positive due to which it is an exponential growth pattern that we can observe in both of the functions here it is a little lower the integrated function it is because of the denominator that is dividing the exponential function and maybe reducing it a little bit due to which it is shifted below. So this is how the pre and post graphs of the integration can be made and this is how we do the integration of an exponential function. And in the next video we will do the integration of natural exponential function. Thank you.